Ladies, gents, good evening from Europe, good afternoon, good morning, whatever you are, guys, Piotr here, this is Light Forex Global YouTube channel, and this is the pre-market open live coverage. Well, many different things going on over the weekend. Uh, well, we have some kind of sign of the Fingers crossed, stabilization when it comes to the new cases uh, related to the coronavirus in Europe. Uh, but the US is showing huge outbreak and all of the comments we are getting out of the US uh, are, I would say, negative, right? Uh, so there is, a, there is a, you know, expectations that there is, it is not a peak yet in US, right? Of course, when it comes to the peak, I would say, if we have a, you know, if we have a peak and the next two weeks, the numbers are lower, that's where we probably, that we can call the, uh, the peak, right? Similar to Europe, all right? Spain. A little bit of the relief here, Italy, German, well, we will see. We've seen something similar in a few days back, but then if we want to use the, you know, the chart nomenclature, it was like double top, but then we went higher, right? Uh, so all the fingers crossed. We have to stay united. The thing is, we have to stay at home. So, three words from me. Stay at home. Uh, the thing is that some people are trying to show, yes, I am the brave, right? Well... The thing is that the stupidity of that, probably there is no vaccine for that stupidity. Because it's not about you. About, it's all about the people around you, right? It's all about the outbreak. It's all about the space in the hospitals. You may not have the knowledge, right? You may feel good, but still, you may have it inside. So to be in touch with other people outside, that's where is your influence. And based on the quite good, quite good study I've seen over the weekend, each of us is responsible for 57k, 57,000 people. So hopefully this number is going to wake up your imagination. Anyway, what we have when it comes to the market, the weekend uh, indices, um, it was at some point, well, showing the weekly open below 1%. Right here is something like half percent. There is a negative comment from the Fitch when it comes to the UK, right? But the pound initially reacted, moving below 124, coming back right here right now. Not good because, you know, I have quite, I built quite good exposure when it comes to the, uh, to the pound short side. Well, Pound may not react into the Fitch, but I think, I'm sorry guys, especially colleagues and friends in UK, I'm sorry, but you are not prepared. You are not well prepared when it comes to the coronavirus. I'm sorry to say that, but probably you are going to be hit hard. And the numbers in Italy, in Spain, you are going to move above when it comes when we are going to talk about that percentage-wise, right? So be careful, guys. Fingers crossed. 
stay home, be safe, right? It's not the usual, you know, cases related to the usual flu. Don't listen to these stupidity guys who are trying to tell you that, oh, come on, each year from the regular flu, people are dying. Come on, every three days, we are doubling the numbers, guys. So it's serious. It's serious. Anyway, we have uh, like 20 pips down for indication. When it comes to the dollar yen, we have like almost no change. When it comes to the euro dollar, we have 40 pips when it comes to the cable. We have 25 pips to the upside when it comes to the USD CAD, right? Uh, so no, no, not big changes, but I think, I think because of what is going to happen this week, not only jobless claims, but also non from payrolls, more fireworks to come. That's the things number one. Second thing is that President Trump been thinking to put New York into the lockdown, right? The one question important, one important question in my mind, okay, what is going to happen with the people around? The second important question from the, you know, from what I'm doing every day, what's going to happen with the exchanges, right? But the point number one, what's going to happen with the people is much more important because of that announcement that maybe we are going to lock down New York. People from New York decided to leave New York. Right, so they are spreading outside of the New York the coronavirus. So uh, the expectations, of what's going to what's going to happen in the near future in the US, are the bleak one. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we can beat that, guys. We can beat that, guys. Right. So, well, where we are, it's going to be worth to watch to monitor the developments during the during the uh, Tokyo session, right? Uh, we have some kind of the announcement from Bank of Japan that, well, they ready to implement more and even more and even more and more, meaning that, in other words, when you are talking about the, you know, the liquidity, meaning that, in other words, trying to say it easier as possible, uh, Bank of Japan is ready to buy the whole ETF market in Japan, right? The strange thing is that, you know, we right here, right now, we know that the Olympic Games are going to be postponed. And what happened? And that's my theory I told you about before. Suddenly in Tokyo, we have new record of the new cases, right? So my theory is saying that they were trying to hide the real number of the new cases uh, when it comes to the Japan because of this Olympic game, because the Olympic game was supposed to push the Japanese uh, economy uh, upside to the up, right? Anyway, uh, of course, each of us, we have to take into the consideration and I would like to say, throw it out, the, the, the most negative and the most optimistic uh, comments. And, you know, we have to find the balance, right? So overall, uh, what do I expect? Market is, is going to look for the dollar, maybe a little bit cheaper than what we have right now. But market, you know, when I'm, when I'm going to tell you right now, market is short dollar, I'm not going to tell you that market is uh, on the short side, market sold dollar. No, no. When I'm telling you right now that overall the government's uh, emerging markets is short dollar, meaning that they are looking on each corner to try to buy the dollar, right? So overall, medium long term, as of now, I'm dollar bullish, um, oil negative, uh, but you know, some pump, fake news. Uh, so I'm looking for, I missed the opportunity. I told you on Thursday, I missed the short term opportunity to sell the dollar. Also, I'm going to watch you very carefully what's going on with the gold, right? And I think we might see indices a little bit higher. I already have small exposure, but I think 
after the initial dip, we might see relief rally even more. And after that, I'm going to look to sell the rallies. Your homework, guys, is to check 1928-1932 Dow Jones chart. With that being said, I would like to say stay, sa stay safe. I would like to wish you a great rest of the Sunday. Be careful around the market open. The spreads are going to be wider. The volatility is going to be higher. And I'm going to make another update when necessary. Have a good one, guys. See you around. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye.